All right, let's let this filter pick four random Squishmallows and we're gonna mash them up on the iPad. All right, we've got a crab, a cat, is that an artichoke and a cobra? There's a lot of purple, so I'm thinking we do a tie-dye from this cat, and then we do the green part from, obviously it's a tulip, I just got it. Um, and then I think we wanna add crab hands, and then for the snake, we can add maybe like the snake tongue, and we can think about doing these little things on the side. Okay, up first, I'm gonna add my purple, and then I'm just gonna grab a blue and add these shapes in here, and then do a blur on them. All right, let's blur it out. Yes, that's exactly what I was going for. Okay, gonna add in the crab claws. What? Crab claws, that is. I'm gonna add the thing on the top of his head, but in that color. I love him. Let me know what you think in the comments. Part two, whatever it picks up here, we're gonna mash him up on the iPad. All right, we've got a cheeseburger, rainbow raccoon, a cinnamon roll, and what is that, a little mouse? Okay, close inspection, I think that's a cat. Sorry, don't come for me. So I think what we're gonna do is the elements of the burger with raccoon eyes, and I think maybe make the bottom part be this rainbow with a cinnamon roll swirl on the top and cat ears, and maybe try to pull in some of this color and the whiskers. Let's go. All right, let me draw on that burger. Tomato. Okay, I think if I just add in all these rainbow colors down here like this, then I can blur it to make it be rainbow. Yes, that's perfect. And let's add on these drips, adding the swirls. Okay, I did the eyes, and I think because of the brown, it kind of looks like a sloth, but whatever, it's cute, I'm keeping it. Okay, pretty chaotic, but I love her. Let me know what you think we should name her in the comments. Whatever the filter picks up here, we're gonna mash them all up on the iPad. Okay, oh, okay, we've got a Triceratops, Grim Reaper, Mummy and a deer. This is gonna be fun. I'm gonna try to do the tie-dye and the spikes on the Triceratops with the Grim Reaper face, some bandages from the mummy, and then maybe the antlers and ears from the deer. I drew these squiggles and I'm gonna blur it. Yes! Drew on that face. And I'm adding the spikes from the Triceratops. Let's add on some of these bandages. Add on those little dots from the fawn's head. And finally, I'm gonna add on those antlers and add some finishing touches. And here's that one all complete. I am in love with this one. I think it's my favorite one I've done so far. Let me know what you think we should name him in the comments. Whatever this lands on, we are gonna mash them all together on the iPad. Oh, this is a good one. I'm gonna open up Procreate. Okay, I'm thinking we use the rainbow from this Pegasus, the kind of lime green from the skeleton, the eyes of the raccoon, and then the fins of the stingray. First, I'm just gonna add these kind of rainbow squiggles all around it. Now that I have that, I'm gonna take this Gaussian blur, and yes, that's perfect. I got the skull drawn on there, and I'm just gonna add in the lime green from that bunny. These eyes might be hard to add onto this, so I'm thinking I might do these ears, but with the rainbow like the raccoon. Last step is just to add on these fins from the Stingray. And here's this one all complete. I love this one so much. Let me know what you think we should name him in the comments. Okay, you know the drill, whatever this lands on, we're gonna mash it up on the iPad. Oh, okay, this one's a good one, let's go. So we basically got all three sea animals and then a <laughs> flying panda unicorn. So let's figure out what to do with that. I'm thinking Bo from Hello Kitty Mermaid, but with these little tentacles instead of the tail and then the seal's face, and then maybe the ears and the wing and horn from the panda. I'm gonna add a bunch of blue and purple down here. Give it a Gaussian blur. Yes, that looks perfect. Let's draw on those tentacles. Okay, I gave him that seal face, and I'm just giving him the whiskers. I think I'm gonna put a black band around it to match the panda. Gotta add on the wings and the horn. And here's the final result. I think this might be the cutest one I've made yet. Let me know what you think we should name it in the comments. Whatever this filter lands on, we're gonna mash up all four on the iPad. Ooh, this is a good one, let's do it. Okay, right off the bat, I love this hat and overalls, but what if we make them in this pattern and then we take this guy's feathers up here and then make it the color on the mouth of the rabbit. Let's go ahead and get our base in there. Okay, I drew on that hat, let's color it in. Okay, right now it looks like a potato with a rain hat on, but let's see if we draw those overalls if we can't get it looking better. Okay, now it's giving Bob the Builder, but let's go ahead and add the pineapple design on there and hope that helps. I went ahead and changed all the trim to be this darker yellow, and then now I'm adding on the top, and we gotta add on his little feathers to the back here. And finally, let's add the rabbit's nose on here. 
And here's it all complete. This one is definitely a strange combination, giving a little bit of a Bob the Builder goes to Palm Springs as a rabbit tease, but I don't know, I like it. Let me know what you wanna name it in the comments. Whatever this lands on, we're gonna mash them all up on the iPad. Oh, okay, this is a fun one, let's go. I'm thinking we do the skeleton from this bird, the cat's face, the elements like wings and horns and ears and tie-dye from the dragon and then the hair and these things from the Franken bear. Let's go. I'm gonna start by doing these kind of blue blobs from the dragon so that eventually I can blur it to get that tie-dye effect. I'm gonna add in these ribs here. Okay, I added on the hair. Now I'm just gonna add on these little details. Just gonna add on the wings and here it is all complete. Let me know what you think we should name it in the comments. And I'm thinking next time I might go to a real store with real Squishmallows for this. So let me know what you think about that too. Today I'm gonna be mashing up random Squishmallows on the iPad, but this time, okay, I was gonna say, but this time we'll do it in real life. But um, everywhere I looked, there were zero Squishmallows. So I guess we're going back to the filter. All right, let's try it again. What are we gonna get? Oh, okay, isn't that gold one like really special or something? Apparently it is pretty rare and worth a lot of money. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do is give it a top hat and bow tie from that one. Give it fins like the shark, and then for the avocado toast, make it be like the avocado part, be this tie-dye color. So let's try that. All right, let me just work on this top hat a little bit. Okay, I added on the bow tie. Now I'm just gonna add on each of these fins. I basically added all this to it. Now I'm gonna blur it and see that looks pretty gold to me. I added a bunch of squiggly details that I'm hoping when I blur it, here's the final result. It's kind of giving me like a geode vibe, but let me know what you think we should name it in the comments. You already know the drill, whatever these land on, we're gonna mash all of them together on the iPad. Oh, we've got some cute ones this time. Okay, let's go. Okay, definitely giving it the dog's ears. I think the dragon's wings, the top of the Hello Kitty. I guess that's like an ice cream cake. And then I think we'll make the whole color be the one of the shark. All right, let's get going. Adding in that color first and foremost, carving out that belly area. Let's add on these ears. Okay, I'm gonna add in the drips from the Hello Kitty as well as the horn. Okay, now I just need to add on the little sprinkle details that they have. Adding on the tiny little mouth and final touch is the dragon wings. Here's the final result. <laughs> I love him as usual. Let me know what you think we should name it in the comments. Let's play whatever these land on. We mash them up on the iPad. Oh my gosh, these are some fun ones. Let's go. Okay, here's our spread. What I'm thinking is doing the background be the earth one, but maybe the ocean can be like pink or something to bring in this pink flamingo. And then for the penguin, we can give it that whole outfit. And then this is a turtle. You guys corrected me last time. I guess we just add in the little like flippers slash legs from the turtle. I'm just gonna make the background pink and I'm going to attempt to do my best at creating a world map here. I love how it includes the poles as white on the globe. Now I'm gonna work on adding this guy's outfit to it. The way I have this is the white layer is a whole layer on top of everything else. So then I'm able to just draw underneath it and it stays within the lines of the egg shape. So I just added all that on. Okay, I'm gonna add on the hat and the outline. Okay, I don't want the color pink of the hat and the bow tie, so I'm just gonna change that real quick. I need to add the arms on for the turtle. I think I'll give it the beak of the penguin too. And here it is all complete. This is one of my favorite ones so far. I feel like I said that every time, but let me know what you think we should name him in the comments. Okay, whatever these land on, we're gonna mash them up on the iPad. All right, we've got, okay, these are cute, let's go. Here's the lineup. Okay, I know that's a Hello Kitty character, but that Squishmallow is so ugly, I'm sorry. Okay, I wanna do the frog eyes up here for sure with maybe the cat's, I don't know, little face. Um, and then we have to do the coloring of the Corgi and I guess we're gonna add on this bottom part from this guy. Also, it's so funny that I got the frog because my friend's got a frog Squishmallow dog bed and look how cute my dog is in it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and add on the top parts here for the frog's face. Okay, gotta move the eyes up here. Oh, let's try that again. There we go. Gonna add on the cat's nose and mouth. Here's that. Why does it look like Sid from Ice Age? 
I'm gonna add these parts from the corgi, but I think it'd be cool if I made them green like the frog. Last, we have to add on the monstrosity of this guy. Here he is all complete. Okay, normally I really like the final results, but this guy is definitely a monstrosity. Let me know what you think we should name him in the comments. Whatever these land on, I'm gonna mash them up on the iPad. Ooh, these are good ones, let's go. Okay, I definitely wanna add on the feet from the octopus. I guess they're tentacles. The wings from the bat and also his little fangs. The places of the map and then also I think the antennas of the oxalotl. Also, I think for the color of this one, what I'm gonna do is just put all of the colors for each one on the grid and then mix them all together for the final color. If I take the smudge tool, we should get our final color. It's like a peachy orange. Maybe it's brown, but oh well. Gonna add on each of the feet. Gonna add on the tiny smile with the fangs, of course. And the wings. Okay, I have to add on the three antennas. Is that what they're called of the oxalotl? Let me know in the comments if that's not what they're called. And I think I'm gonna make them the same color as the wings with these like light orange highlights. Last step is just to add on the different places on the world map. Here he is all complete. He's definitely giving demon vibes. And I know these are supposed to be the tentacles, but for some reason it makes him look like a campfire. <laughs> Let me know what you think we should name him in the comments. Whatever this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash up all four on the iPad. Oh, this is a good one, let's go. This one already looks like a big mashup. It's a rainbow unicorn Hello Kitty cupcake, I think. We've got a zebra. So I'm thinking I will do like at least the top part of this one with zebra stripes, a blue scarf for the cat, and then wings for the devil, and probably give him some little fangs. We have a lot of Sanrio in the last one, so I think I should take this time to apologize for calling Karapi ugly. I didn't mean Karapi was ugly, but the Squishmallow version is another story, I'm sorry. Let's start with the rainbow drip, and I'm gonna fill it in with the pink and blue from the frosting. Then when I Gaussian blur it, Yes, it looks perfect. Okay, I finished the top part. Now I just need to draw on all these little zebra stripes. Here he is. Now I need to draw on the blue scarf. All right, let's add on the little smile and the fangs. Okay, that looks absolutely adorable. I'm gonna go ahead and add on the horns and the wings. And here he is all complete. This is the cutest little devil I've ever seen. Let me know what you think we should name him in the comments. I'm here at the Squish Pit, and today we're gonna be mashing up Squishmallows in real life. At this year's VidCon, you could wait in line to jump into a giant pit of Squishmallows, and you got to pick any two you wanted. I interviewed some jumpers to see which Squishmallows they got, and today we're gonna be mashing them up on the iPad. So for the ramen, we have to do the top, and then I'm thinking for the hedgehog, we do this little shape here with the little spikes. I think we do the bottom of the s'more, and then I'm thinking the flower, and the coloring of the cactus. And maybe we add the arms on there too. So the ramen is kind of like an upside down shape. So I think I'm gonna do this for this one. All right, now I'm gonna grab the red from here and the orange. Just gonna draw in those little eggs. They're hard to see, but there are noodles on here. Okay, I did that. And this one has a little fish cake on it, but I'm thinking I do the flower from the cactus instead right there. I love how this looks. Now that I got that done, I'm gonna add on the bottom of the s'more. Okay, I'm gonna draw the shape of the hedgehog's face, something like this. I'm gonna add on all of his spikes, but in kind of like a darker green as if it was the cactus spikes. I decided I'm gonna do the nose from the hedgehog and I am gonna go ahead and add on the arms from the cactus. And here he is, all complete. This one turned out to be so cute. I love all these different combinations. Let me know what you think we should name him in the comments. I'm here at the Squish Pit, and today we're gonna be mashing up Squishmallows in real life. At this year's VidCon, you could wait in line to jump into a giant pit of Squishmallows, and you got to pick any two you wanted. I interviewed some jumpers to see which Squishmallows they got, and today I'm gonna mash them all together on the iPad. Okay, so I think we do the top two claws from the crab, the fins and maybe the little white dots of the orca, this kind of unique color pattern from the hedgehog and the little spikes, and then maybe the pink and the gills on the oxalotl. You guys came for me for calling them antenna, so yes, thank you for correcting me, they are gills. First, I'm gonna draw the claws from the crab, 
Also, I have a gnarly cut on my palm, so this one might be a little shaky, I apologize. Okay, I cleaned those up the best I can. Now I'm gonna add on the fins from this guy. Oh God, this is gonna look a little weird. I'm gonna give him a tiny little smile. And in pink, I'm gonna attempt to draw on the shape of the hedgehog. Oh gosh, that's gonna need some cleaning up. Okay, I have all the color on. Now I'm just gonna add on all these tiny little spikes with a darker pink. I'm gonna add on the little circles above the eyes from the orca. And last, I need to add on these gills. And here she is all complete. I have to say, I wasn't sure how this one was gonna turn out, but it's one of my favorite ones of all time. Let me know what you think we should name her in the comments. Whatever these land on, I'm gonna mash all of them together on the iPad. Ooh, we've got boba, let's go. Okay, we have some really good color combos. I'm thinking I'm gonna do the coloring of the cow plus the ears, the obviously legs of the octopus, add in some boba for our little boba guy and a strawberry helmet. All right, let's do it. First, I'm just gonna add in the colorings. Most of them have this tiny smile, so I think I'm gonna add that in for this one. I'm gonna add on all of the little legs. Okay, I've got all those done. Now I'm gonna add in a bunch of little boba at the bottom. Okay, this one has a gradient, so I'm thinking I'm gonna attempt that on the pink and purple down here. I'm using the airbrush brush for this. Okay, he's looking really cute. Now I'm gonna add on the top of the strawberry. Last but not least, I have to add on the horns and the ears. And here is the final result. This is one of the ones I'm like, they should make this in a heartbeat. I love it. Let me know what you think we should name it in the comments. Whatever this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash all of them together on the iPad. Ooh, these are good ones, let's go. Okay, I'm thinking we do the mouth and nose of the seal, the bones from this guy, the flippers from the stingray, and then the horns and this little thing for the monster. For the color, I took all of the colors of each of these and I'm gonna use the smudge tool to grab a middle ground color. Ooh, that's really pretty. Let's color that in. And I'm gonna go ahead and add on the seal's little snout. Okay, now I'm just gonna draw on that bone mask shape from the top one. And I'm just gonna add on those ribs. Okay, I made them all that lime green color. Now I'm just gonna add on the little flippers. And I'm just gonna add those three little gills that the stingray has. Now I'm gonna add on the horns from the monster and the little puff ball on top of his head. And I'm just gonna color those in, add those stripes. And here he is all complete. I actually really love this one so much. I think the stingray with the bones just works so perfectly. Let me know what you think we should name it in the comments. 